Hey guys, Code with Berg here with the first video for 2019, and today we're going to be looking at how to use audio in Swift, and we will also take a look at how to play audio in the background using background play. So to get started, make sure that you have Xcode open and select create a new Xcode project. Then we'll use a single view app, hit next. I'll just use audio player as the product name, we'll hit next again and you can uncheck this and then hit create. Now the first thing we need to do is enable background play. To do this we need to go to the capabilities folder then down to background modes make sure it's on and then select the audio airplay and picture in picture to add it to the info.plist file. Now that we're done that we can go to the main.storyboard and build our user interface. All we're going to need for this app is a play and pause button so just head over to the objects library right here and we'll click and drag two buttons onto the view. And then once that's done, just double click on either of the buttons to change the name. We'll make one of them play and one of them pause. And I'm also going to make these slightly bigger by opening the attributes inspector and adjusting the font. So now we need to connect these buttons to the viewcontroller.swift file. So click on the assistant editor, and I'm just gonna hide this sidebar for now, because I don't need it. So after the view did load, we can control click and drag the first button. So we want the connection to be of type action or IB action. The name will be play button pressed and the rest you can just leave as it is. Then we'll do the same for the pause button. So control click and drag, pause button pressed, and then hit connect. Now we can close the assistant editor and start creating the audio player. Go to the viewcontroller.swift file. Now because this is quite long I'm just going to paste it in from another project but before that we need to create the audio player. So after the opening curly brace we can say var audio player equals AV audio player and then open and close brackets. And now after the super dot view did load we can add this code. You can just ignore these error messages for now because we'll fix those in just a minute. So next we need an audio file to use. So I'm just going to drag an mp3 file into the audio player file here. So once you've found an audio file that you can use, you can just drag that in and then hit finish. So you can see the file is called song and it is of type mp3. So in this first line where we say let sound equal bundle.main.path after for resource we can just replace this with song and then we can change the sound type from wave to mp3 now to get rid of the errors we need to import the AV foundation class so right here where we imported UI kit we can just go right below that and say import AV foundation and you can see that fixed all the errors. So now that we have our sound file, we set up the audio player using this do catch block. So we say audio player equals try AV audio player contents of URL file URL with path and then sound. And this sound is the sound that we created right up here. Then we say try AV audio session dot shared instance and this is a shared instance with the device. Uh, we set the category to playback, set the mode to default, and in options we can either set this to mix with other sounds or duck other sounds. So now we just need to play and pause the audio using the buttons that we created. So let's go back down here to where we created the two buttons and then inside of play button pressed we can say audio player dot play 
and then open and close brackets. And in the pause button press function, we can say audio player dot pause and then open and close brackets again. And that's it. So let's select a target device. I'm just going to use the iPhone 10R since it's already set up that way. And then you can just hit run. As long as you don't have any errors in your code, it should run no problem. But if you do run into any errors, you can just drop a comment down below and I'll see if I can help you out with those. So when we hit play, you can see that the song plays. And if we hit pause, it stops. And if we exit the app while the song is playing, it will continue to run in the background. So that wraps up the video. I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, make sure to smash that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.